What's going on Spartans? Welcome back and today we're going to be dropping all these lightning spells on this Dark Elixir and stealing a ton of it. Now we're also going to go for the win and also for the rest of the Dark in this base. However, I do want to go ahead and start out by saying we are hunting Dark Elixir and we are in a new era of Dark Elixir hunting. So be prepared for tons to be stolen because now all we have to work on are of course our heroes and our walls. I am working on my uh, bombs right now. So I will be showing that as they finish. I got a couple cool episodes coming up. I want to show that I did finish all my defenses. So there will be an episode showing all my defenses 100% finished. But as you can see, while breaking in and taking out most of the defenses here that are in the way with these balloons. However, the balloons are more of a distraction than anything else. They aren't really doing anything. But we are getting the 44% right there. And 46. Can we get the 50%? We do have our Archer Queen left. And she is going to get the nice 50 right there. Boom. Now, I'm going to let her keep going because, guys, we are right near this town hall. And as you can see, my queen is ready to take it. She's getting the loot. And as long as she's not getting hit by a Tesla or anything like that, I will let her keep fighting. There's no point in quitting now. We can take the town hall and insult him. Let me pause it right there. Look at this. Boom. And destroying stuff. So, on the town hall, super awesome. Let's actually, uh, you can see her little, wow, that's awesome when you pause it. You're done that. Anyway, get back to the story. You can go ahead and destroy this town hall real quick. And then, of course, get this gold, hopefully, at which point I will go ahead and dip out. I'm not trying to. Oh, kill that queen. Boom. Invis destroyed. Awesome. So we are going to get the gold. We killed the queen. We took the town hall. We got a two star. And that's with Garch, guys. So I was a dick with the five lightning, but we got 2,500 dark. And, of course, we did destroy a two star on this base. So pretty awesome two star. Now, let's do one more. This one I won about 2,800 dark. Let's see how I did it, though. This is a really common base, guys. Uh, you probably see it all the time. As you can see, I'm just working my way around the base, dropping my goblins and archers. Going pretty heavy here just because there is that dark elixir mine there, and I'm really looking to steal that more than anything else. Now, I'm going to start circling the base slowly and taking out as much as I can. As you can see, starting at this bottom, going pretty hard here. And uh, dropping the goblins, just moving along, real simple. This is a strategy that anyone can do. It doesn't even take high-level troops. Everyone's like, oh, but you have maxed out Garch. Well, I do, but I've done this since I had level 4s and 5s, so I don't really see the point of saying that because the bases don't change that much in difficulty. And uh, honestly, the only thing that really changes in strength is the strength of your goblins. Other than that, your archers really don't change much. It's like plus 2 attack. It's, it's really a joke. Now, we are going to go ahead and finish this raid up. We're not, uh, I don't know if we're going to win this one. It's going to be close. We're going to drop the queen, though. Oh, we want to get this dark, so we're going to burrow in real deep here. Dropping the wall breakers, and here we go. Dropping everything we can, going for that 50%. Hoping the queen will take the dark elixir, and that's what I really want. But uh, definitely going for that win, if possible, because that does give you a nice loot bonus. So I'm going to let it play out, see if my queen can pull the other 6% I need left now. And it is going to be close, guys. Oh, boy. And uh, here we go. Looks like we're going to get it. No problem, I hope. Not too much anyway. 46%. And my queen is taking hits here pretty hard, but she is stuck by a wall. So we're going to invis her right now. And she's going to go through this wall and hopefully still have her invisibility strength left. Now, a lot of people have been speculating about the update that's coming out. They're saying that it's possible that in this new update, she will actually become smarter. I'll be shocked. I'll be completely shocked, guys, if the heroes get new AI, but I'd be really happy. So this guy's stupid. He put three Builder's Huts right next to each other, and I was able to take two of them out and get the 50% I needed. So 2,800 dark, and of course the extra 100, 120k or whatever each for winning, which is pretty awesome. My base has been holding me at, like, Masters 2, Masters 1. I'll have to show you a bunch of trolling defenses, guys. It's pretty funny. I, as you know, I have a trap base, and it is destroying people, guys. It is really working. I would recommend doing that if you're going to Champions League. Just because if someone really wants to beat you, they're going to take 50% no matter what you do. So I figure if they're going to tick 50% no matter what, why bother fighting it? Just let them have the Town Hall. Let them get that one star. And then hopefully keep them from having any strength left from going onto the base. Or keep them away from your loot. Because when you're pushing, you don't really need loot. But let's be honest, guys. No one likes to lose it. So here we go. 
working our way in this base real slow. We're taking our time. I was really looking at it. I was like, man, there's 900, almost a million. There's about a million loot showing here and a bunch of dark. Where's it at? So I was trying to figure out if it was all in the mines here. And I do steal about 150 right here on the easy left side. And then I'm like, okay, well, it's obviously mostly in the center, but we can still half if we take the sides out. So start dropping down my goblins pretty slowly, not trying to get them wrecked by those wizards. And of course, those are really bulked up on that left side. So going heavy on the archers, but the king actually comes out to fight. And I don't like that. So I drop down some lightning spells here. And I'm going to drop three down in order to take out the wizard and mortar, which is going to be very helpful because it allows me to get a couple percentage points. And it also means that that area is not guarded anymore. And therefore, I can kill this king with a bunch of archers and a couple goblins can go get the loot. So that's the reason I did that. Now, on the other side, there are two mortars I'll have to worry about. But we'll get there and we'll see what we do with that. Guys, do me a favor. In the comments below, tell me what kind of videos you want to see come out next. And of course, I'll do them because now I really have a lot of freedom to do what I want. I am going to continue to push my walls and my heroes as hard as possible. But we obviously will have a very long road of that. Even if I pushed as hard as I could at farming, it would take, God, I don't know, what is it, like three or four months to upgrade my walls to max and probably close to that to do my heroes. So it would probably take like six months to do my entire base all the way to max if you, just to do my heroes and walls, to be honest. And they only have like two levels to go. So that's pretty sad. But you can see here, taking the time and definitely wrecking these gold storages. Dropping as much as I can down and trying to win it. And it looks like we're going to get close to a win, but we're not. I don't think we're going to get the win here. It's going to be close. I have not watched this raid. It's been a few days since I did this, so definitely a first time for me to actually watch it. I normally watch my raids or like commentate right afterward, but I was trying to build a special video for you guys. And this became kind of left out because the video I made had way more epic raids. Anyway, this one has a great amount of loot. As you can see, dropping tons and tons of troops up top because I'm trying to burrow into that one section. I should have just taken out that stupid gold storage on the bottom. But instead, I was like, oh, I'm going to drop my queen, get the 50%, and uh, you know, try and burrow in as take as much as I can. So I do get the 50% here, which allows me to get a loot bonus, and I end the battle immediately. So I won 400,000 gold. 300,000 elixir and 2200 dark really solid plus nine trophies not bad at all hope you guys enjoyed stay tuned i'll see you in the next one peace